Hey guys, Stinger 30 here again. Well, it lives. I've done it. <sighs> There's the vacuum cleaner, the industrial vacuum cleaner. Here's the, the plate, and the top mounting plate that we stick our plastic plate into. This is the other section that was down the bottom. I went nuts and drilled a hole with it. I've covered this area up here with tape. I've already ran the vacuum cleaner, and of course I was losing a fair bit of suction. Duh! You fill these holes in around the edges. You're amazed how much suction you get through here. It's incredible. This fella here, rough arrow lines up with this fella here. Lines up with this guy over here, where the mark is. And he will sit down on top of there, just like that. So all the suction comes in through here with a plate on top, and whatever we want to form on here, a bit of pinball. Um, pop bumper or whatever, as long as it fits in that hole, sort it. And then what we do is the, um, the vacuum cleaner itself attaches to the bottom of the machine. So this hole here, this hose sh shoved in through there. If you really want to get intense, you can actually put a bit of gaffer tape around it, but just give him enough force and actually forces itself in there. Anyhow done. I'm not going to get a chance to um, drag my oven out here and give this thing a test until probably tomorrow. But anyhow, vacuum former test rig number one <laughs> is complete. Thank you.